All right, guys. Day six of training camp just wrapped up. Let's see. Uh, let's see the highs and lows, the goods and not so goods. Got some notes right here. So let's see. So the new guy on defense, Taco, my boy Taco, Taco Tuesday. That's what they need to start calling him. He showed up. Maybe it was you know some beginner's luck. But he showed up. Let's see if he can emulate that. I mean, he was crushing out there. He's beasting. Um, the quarterbacks are on the field. He he gave him, you know, H-E double ho hockey sticks, you know. Um, he was beating everybody in one-on-one -on -one drills. Very good impression. I'm very impressed by my boy Taco Tuesday. All right? And we're going to see uh, what, what there is to come of him, you know. We'll see what there there is to come. Um, another guy on defense, Javon Kenlaw. Javon Kenlaw, he's showing up, but I mean, until he does something in like an actual game, I'm not gonna really talk about him too much because I'm not really too impressed by Javon at all. I mean, he's beating backups, right? But from how high we draft him, um, he should be doing a lot better. I mean. He's not really proving anything to me until he's, like, pancaking starters. So, I mean, but, yeah, he's, he's beast in backups. I mean, he's a good backup right now. But, I mean, he's just a big dude. Um, as usual, I wanted some. I wanted someone to show up for the tight ends, Jordan, uh, not Jordan Mason, George Kittle, and just somebody to show up and show that something you know no tight ends have showed anything yet it is what it is um jordan mason though putting down the work um he's he he definitely bounced back from from the other day he's actually showing that hey i'm not gonna be bullied you ain't gonna get rid of me and i'm here to play i'm here to you know he's he's delivering some big heavy hits so props to jordan mason I love Jordan Mason, man. I hope, you know, he can shine on this team. Especially with having McCaffrey on the team. I think he can learn a lot from McCaffrey. And I think, you know, just knowing how McCaffrey is, I think McCaffrey is showing him, you know, how how to go about this league, you know. I think McCaffrey's a really good guy. I know he, he's doing that. Um, as far as everybody other than the quarterbacks, they just need to drop Ambry Thomas. I mean... <laughs> That dude was getting picked on. He's not doing... He's definitely not a starter. He's definitely not a backup in this league. Uh, maybe the practice squad. I mean, there there was glimpses of when Ambry Thomas was showing us something, like last year. And so, or was that... It might have been the year before. Whenever we had... He was showing glimpses of that. He might be good, but he's just... He's not performing well. He's not... Can't keep up with the receivers. So... I don't think he's going to make the team, if I'm going to be honest. Now, the good stuff. Quarterbacks. Who shined and who didn't shine, right? Who do you guys think? Real quick, who do you guys think played well? Who do you guys think played well? Definitely wasn't that guy, unfortunately. Trey Lance didn't play bad, but Brock Purdy was just the better quarterback. Uh... As far as a quick grade, I'd give him a B. Uh, didn't play average, but he played a little bit above average. Not Brock Purdy standards, but he did uh, do six for seven. He had a touchdown in the red zone. Um, actually, a beautiful touchdown in the end zone for uh, who was it? For Jawan Jennings. Um, but his only miss was he airmailed Brandon Ayuk in the end zone. But other than that, I mean, Brock Purdy played well. He did have four sacks, though, and he's just, that's about it, really. Four sacks, and he holds onto the ball for a little too long, but other than that, he's playing fine. He's definitely, from, I think this is day two or day three of Brock Purdy uh, practicing and stuff like that. For being day two, day three, he's playing well above what I expected. I thought he wasn't going to be ready at all, but he's playing well above. The arm strength looks good, and he's playing, playing well. 
you know, he's definitely improving. He's got some room to improve, but he's definitely playing well. So props to Brock Purdy, man. And he, if he ends up being a starter for, for the team, no complaints. Even though I want Trey to be, I would have no complaints. Because at the end of the day, their success is our our success. So, um, Trey Lance played pre played pretty average, C plus, four for six, took a sack. Um, probably his best throw. Um, I think it was to Ayuk. Ayuk was going down the field. He ran out outside the numbers. Perfect pass. I mean, uh, who was covering him? Ambry, Tom Ambry Thomas was covering him. But, I mean, just a beautiful pass right outside the numbers. Perfect, right? Now, um, other than the other two quarterbacks, Darnold, I'd give, like, a D minus, maybe even an F. Over for 3. I mean, Darnold wasn't playing good today. But hopefully he, he can bounce back, you know, because the way these quarterbacks stay healthy on this team, we're going to need him. So, he was 0-3 in the red zone, by the way. 0-3 in the red zone, right? So, hopefully, uh, Darnold uh, bounces back. And Allen, 3-for-3. Three three. Yeah, he had two sacks. But, uh, Allen did show up. And this was kind of like a little, you know, show. he's showing like, hey, I'm here now. So, maybe Sam got something to worry about. So, you better watch out for him. We'll see if he can emulate that. In the next training camp, you know, we'll see. Because definitely this has a lot to show because it's August now. Preseason around the corner. The first preseason game is in two days. It's August 1st now, so it's in two days. So I'm ready for football, guys. I know you guys are ready for football. It's going to be great to start covering the games again. I'm glad I started my uh, YouTube channel back up, man. I'm going to start doing live streams and stuff like that. Like, right, hopefully right after the games. It depends because I work a lot of night shift. So, hopefully I can start doing the live streams right after the game. And we can uh, talk about, you know, so that way I'm going to start taking notes. See what I, who's playing good, who's playing bad, all that stuff. And we can just break it all down on stream. Right? So, hopefully, uh, well, not hopefully, but. Can't wait for that to happen. That's gonna be some fun. But I appreciate you all for watching. There's my dog in the back over there. Uh, appreciate you all for for watching. If you're uh, interested in catching the streams whenever after the game and stuff, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you turn those notifications on so you can uh, see whenever I'm going live and stuff like that. Because I did a test live stream because I just got a new mic, new camera, and everything. Uh, so hopefully. The audio and the cameras looking good and stuff like that. Just let me know how it sounds and all that stuff. I got this Blue Yeti microphone. Right there. So let me know how the audio sounded, hopefully. Because before I was only, I'd still do it on my phone, but I was doing it on my phone. So, yeah, just let me know how, how it sounded and all that stuff. I appreciate you guys. And I can't wait for the next training camp. Get this ball rolling. Let's go. It's your boy Sammy G. Peace.